I'm Kara Kinnear in for Christine Pilar. Well, now it's time for a segment we like to call Things to Care About. That's right. <laughs> and here today to fill in for me is the one, the only Emmy Award winning makeup artist, <laughs> Miss Nisa Green. It's so weird being you, but it feels so good to be you. I love it's it when you're me. It, it feels right to me, too. I got to be honest. <laughs> All right, what are we caring about today? We are caring today about Oprah's new book because it is chock full of good life lessons on how to be successful. Okay. And I, I love, love it even more because it's not just Oprah. It's like she reached out to some of her super successful friends like Jay-Z and others. Okay. And so she compiled it all in this great book. And I have done you the favor of condensing my top six favorite Thank you so much. You know if she writes a book, you have to read it. And also, she got so many people involved in reading, like back in the Her 90s. Book club. Yes. It did, it did. She's still making us happy. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first the first tip is to live your best life, you must become your best self. Okay, how do we do that, Nisa? <laughs> how, do we, how do we become our best self? I'm really trying, but it's hard some days. Seriously, are you really focusing on that? Or are you letting outside things influence you on becoming your best self? Because That's you true. becoming your best self is all about you and on the inside of you. Okay, we have to listen to our intuition and follow that through. Right, and okay. you, again, you can't let outside things like social media or news of the day distract you into focusing on being the best you every single day you can. Especially you, you're a mom and a wife, so yeah, yeah that matters. Right. Okay. That Matters. All right, I like that one. That one's really good. Okay, what's okay. the next one? The next one, fall for, fail forward. Face your fears. Okay. Failing is okay. You just have to make sure that you get up from it. Please, don't be one of those people that something fails or something goes wrong and you stay there and wallow in it and yeah. make yourself a victim because no one likes the victim mentality. And we're not here to be a victim. We're here to be successful. And we're in control of that. So again, even if you're failing, fail forward. Keep it moving. Get yeah. up and try it again. I know we talk about it all the time in the round table that failing is what we try to protect our kids from, but you shouldn't do that. You should let them fail, walk through that failure, and Absolutely. they'll be better, better for it on the other side, and the same applies to ourselves. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So again, you cannot be afraid of failure, and if it does happen, shake it off. Who amongst us hasn't had some sort of failure right. in your life? Right. So and you're going to come out better on the other side. Absolutely. I you that. Absolutely. All right. What's the next one? Like? Okay. So here's one that I, this might be my favorite. There's no luck. Okay. Only preparation and opportunity. Okay, I like just, that. Let's just let that sit in for a second. There's no luck, only preparation and opportunity. So whatever you're dreaming for, yes. are you preparing yourself for that dream to come true? Right. I'm like for me, I want to be a size six. However, <laughs> I bought pound cake as a snack today. Am I really preparing myself for the dream of being a size six? Okay, listen to me. First of all, you look great. I don't think you should put that much pressure on yourself to try to be whatever size you feel like social media and other outside sources are telling you. No, Lisa. Is that what, really going to make you happy? No, it's what those jeans in my closet tell me. And that's what's going to make me happy. But also my pound cake's going to make me happy, so I'm not going to succumb to the pressure. Yes. However, I'm just saying, Really, 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 if you have dreams and that's what you're focusing on and you know that you're trying to accomplish something, are you really doing what you need to do on your end to prepare for it? Right. Because you can't just expect Jesus to make it fall from the sky right. for you. You've got to do your part, right? Right. Well, it's that the fable, you know, where the, the guy ends up dying cause in the flood because he says he's going to be saved. And then when he gets to heaven, he's like, I thought you were going to save me because he keeps saying that, you know, God right. is going to save him. And he's like, I sent you a boat. Right. I sent Dude. you a guy. You know, what do you think? You we're just going to float you out of the water? Hop on the boat. You have to recognize those opportunities and seize them. It seize the moment. And don't be, and also, it's okay if you fail when you try to seize that opportunity because you have to at least try. And now you know mm -hmm. you got to fail forward. So you you may fail. You got to keep it going. Okay. We're really growing. All okay, right. What's so the here's next another one? one. What you focus on will grow. Okay. All right, so here's the thing about that. If you focus on what you don't want, if you go around saying, I don't want this, I don't want this to happen, that's what you're focusing on. Mm. You're still blocking the real thing that you really want. Right. So what you're focusing on, again, will always manifest itself. You need to focus on the big picture. Focus on your end game, not the stuff that's keeping you from getting there. Right. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes total sense. There Plus, we go. it's not doing your psyche or your well-being or your stress levels any good to dwell on the negative. It's not. Not at all. And again, mm -hmm. you're just blocking. You're just creating blockage for what you really want to be able to receive. Okay. So all I right. Like that one. All right. Two more, Anissa. All right. The best way to know your purpose is to serve others. I love that. I 
absolutely love this. Mm -hmm. Actually, my Pastor Creflo is teaching a series on mm -hmm. this right now about finding your purpose and how important it is for your happiness in life. Sure. And if you don't know, just start serving other people. Find something to do that allows you to serve others. And in that giving, you will find what really is your jam. You'll find right. what you like to do, you'll find what you don't like to do. But in any way, if you're serving other people, A, you're gonna feel better about it regardless. Mm -hmm. It's gonna make you feel better. And you will find your purpose. Yeah, I You love will that. find your purpose. That makes me excited. You have like to, that. you have to, we're all here for that. I know. When you're walking in your purpose, life is grand. It's true It's happiness. awesome, it's true happiness, mm -hmm. that's true. And to feel that gratitude. Okay, this last one I like, what is it, Nisa? You are not your salary. Mm. You are not what you make. You are not what people say you should be making. Your money really doesn't matter. Are you a good person? Yeah. Are you fostering the right relationships in your life? Because I believe that if you are, even if you're doing the other, other five things on this list, serving others, trying to find your purpose, you're good. Yeah. You're good. I love that. I'm going to let you have the last word, Nisa, because I love that so much. Thank you for bringing all those to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Nisa Green. Thank you, Oprah. Thank for you this so new much. Book. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Oprah. Kara.